Hey, what is up guys and welcome back for another Remnant 2 video. And what I have for you today is probably the best build in Remnant 2 right now. No doubt this build is just so ridiculous that I beat the entire campaign on Apocalypse and I was just breezing through all the worlds like it was nothing. The synergy between the Archon and the Ritualist is just so freaking cool. I had no troubles beating any of the world bosses while literally just standing there in my Havoc form. The lifesteal we have is just so good on the Havoc form that it works better than any relic ever could. Even though we can dodge while in Havoc form, we still will lose most of our abilities duration if we do so. But here we can have it to its max and deal a tremendous amount of damage while taking literally no damage at all. You can even see in fights like the Cancer and Venom, which are some of the toughest bosses in the game, getting absolutely destroyed. I can literally withstand almost every attack from any boss there is. You can heal up faster than they can even land another hit. Truly one of the best builds in the game right now and probably one of the best builds to easily get through Apocalypse. So let's get right into it. Looking at the build, the main skill that you'll need to have is the Death Wish. This gives us a massive 35% damage to everything and 10% lifesteal. You don't need to worry about the 300% health drain because we can completely negate that effect just by getting Kingship and Heavy Armor. So basically that 35% damage and lifesteal is what we get. Pairing this skill with the Havoc form on the Archon goes really well as the Havoc form has a really high base damage that with the 10% lifesteal you gain all that lost HP back in just a second or so. So we always try to time these two skills together, proc the Death Wish and then straight away the Havoc form. Even outside of those skills being active, we can still be very tanky as our base lifesteal with the guns and mods we are using go very good to keep ourselves alive. Looking at our gear, the weapons we use is the new Sparkfire shotgun. This is now one of the best weapons not just for good damage but it's also a great weapon if you are going for some mod builds. Since this is an elemental weapon and with one of the new mutators Maelstrom, it's just a great match. This mutator gives us an increased mod generation on elemental damage, which this gun already is. So you're basically adding on the ring, stone and malevolence onto the weapon itself, which is just insane. This just makes getting our mod charges back super quickly while also giving us more room to use other rings. Using Firestorm is probably your best option as the constant damage from the fire will give you good lifesteal constantly while fighting. Then for our other weapon we go with whatever mod that you like and whatever other weapon that you would prefer. For the amulet we once again go for the spirit wisp. Just so we can use our skills as much as we can and we get no downtime in using the Havoc form and the Death Wish. For the rings, we get the combo with the Atonement Fold and the Alchemy Stone. These two rings will have us be inflicted with bleed the whole time while giving us more crit chance. Then the constant bleed will give us 6% lifesteal at all times as well. These are the only two rings you will need to stay alive when your skills are not active. Then for the other two rings, you can go with whatever you like. I went with the Burden of the Destroyer and the Burden of the Scholist to give my mods and skill more damage. You don't need to waste your ring slots to get more damage reduction or health. From my playthrough, there is literally only one or maybe two bosses that can one shot you with their attacks. Other than that, you can out heal almost every boss with all of their attacks. Renum being one of them as he does some very powerful attacks that can kill you. For those fights in particular, if you do get some more damage reduction from your rings, you can out heal and tank those attacks. But just to tank one boss, there is no need to have the damage reduction or extra health be active all the time. For the relic, we go for the shielded heart. With the fragment skill damage, elemental damage and health. In my whole playthrough, I have never used the relic so you can go with whatever you like with this one. For the traits, we need fortify for more armor. Kinship is most important for this build, not just for the damage reduction from your fire storms, but from your death wish as well. We then get strong back so we can get a good roll, rigor for more health, spirit and expertise for more mod generation and skill cooldowns, bark skin for more damage reduction, handling for just making our shotguns a little bit better, and then finally in siphoner to get more of our base life steal. And that is it for the build everyone. It's right now one of the best and easiest builds that anyone can use to beat Apocalypse difficulty with no troubles at all. No need to constantly use medics and relics to stay alive while your damage is absolutely bad. This build will have you beat anything fairly quickly while also being an absolute monster to kill. 
Just when playing with this build, make sure that you time your things correctly, otherwise it can still fall apart. The Havoc form does have a long startup and end animations, where if you do get caught in it while the enemy is attacking, you will die. So make sure that your firestorm is out so you do get that constant lifesteal even if you do get knocked down or caught in your skill animations. Other than that, you can basically just launch your skills and stand there. You will do great damage and be able to heal faster than anything else in the game. Dodging in your Havoc form does take up your precious time in the skill, so don't do anything, just stand tall and attack head on. I hope you all enjoyed the build and will find it helpful if you are looking to beat Apocalypse difficulty for the first time or even if you are wanting to run through it again. Let me know what your thoughts are on the build. I will catch you all next time.